Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction. I'm your host Subhankar and we are back with a book review after a very very long time. Today we are looking at Time of Contempt which is the second book in the Witcher saga. I have already reviewed the first book Blood of Elves and also a bunch of other novels. So without any further ado, let's dive into the review. There are a lot of things happening in this book which obviously you cannot miss and have to keep track of. So there are plenty of plot points which can be good and can be bad at the same time. You see Andrzej Sapkowski wants the readers to be heavily invested in the world of the Witcher and that means tearing through the complexities. So it may happen that while progressing through the story, you may have to review some of the subplots so as to recollect and make sense of what's happening sometimes it may be just a minor detail so it may be exhausting but rewarding too which i will explain later the plot consists of several flashbacks which are basically point of view retelling of the events by the narrator thus we don't get the full picture so to speak but personally i prefer it that way of course some of those plot points get resolved but most does not and it builds intrigue which is how i feel it should be as i have already mentioned sepkowski lets the characters retell their version of the events as they have unfolded it is a clever bit of storytelling because like them you are never aware of the true picture there are many good narrative arcs in the book and one of my favorites begins at the very beginning. But the downside to such an immersive narrative is pacing and I felt that at some parts the pacing was slower than my liking. There are also a few well narrated action sequences. Here is the thing, after watching the Netflix Witcher series and maybe playing the games, you may think that Geralt is the central character of the saga. Well that is not the case in the books and you will realize that from this book. Firstly, the novel introduces a heap of characters, mostly mages and sorcerers and it does a good job in exploring them, their quirks and personalities. Many side characters are also introduced and Sapkowski maintains a good balance in not overplaying their roles. I think that their character arcs are deftly narrated. Coming to one of the main characters, Yennefer, she is in a sense brought into the fore as she plays an important role in a few sequences. Needless to say her character is very well written, but my favorite part was her relationship with Geralt. I think it is beautifully done, the inter-character dynamics, the attraction and the contrasts. It surely builds to establish them as a fan favorite couple. Then we have Siri, who is the lead character of the novel. The thing is, you have to develop a character in a way that you don't spill their importance or the fact that she is the center of the saga. I like how she is developed into somewhat of a grown up and a relatable character from the brat we saw in the previous novels. She is able to hold on her own and the fact that we can get used to follow her own narrative without relying on the other main characters. On the other hand, it's not enough to sway us from the other main characters like Geralt and Yennefer. What I'm saying is, it's difficult to find a balance for a character as important as Ciri and although the intentions to develop her character were good and well crafted but it went a little off the mark mainly due to the plot and pacing choices in my opinion. I also didn't like that her interactions with Geralt were short and dull. It totally budged my expectations and not in a good way. Now this is where the book absolutely shines. I will say that if you need one sole reason to read this book then it's the politics and the dynamics of the world building. This is brought out by well written characters and their point of view. This creates a mishmash of political intrigue which may be at times hard to connect and follow. But if you manage to do so, it's a hell of a read. It begins with an awe-inspiring sequence from Aretuza, which I won't spoil. You will get a good picture of what is going on in the continent and it helps to grasp the context of many character interactions and choices. When it comes to magic or other fantasy elements, that's a bummer for this book. As such, I have a love-hate relationship with that. Love because it gives way to establish an interesting political world. Hate because you have so many mazes and sorcerers and not enough magic. Also don't expect any monster slaying from Geralt and he never uses his signs. I really miss those. Needless to say there are no monsters and even if there are some, they are mentioned in passing references only. I think that even if the titular witcher is not your lead character, you need to show how he is popularly identified as a fearless monster slayer. To sum up, this book may not be as interesting as the others in the saga. But it is a necessary read because of two reasons, the politics and series character. It feels slow and exhausting at certain places, however Sapkowski throws in interesting subplots as interludes and that may cheer your mood. Again series character is well developed but you may tune out while following her. Magic and witchering was absent which I expected to have been present to a certain extent but unfortunately that wasn't the case. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this book but it is recommended because obviously you cannot skip it as it is part of the saga. You may skim some parts but be mindful of the rest. I would suggest that you take notes of all the characters and the world building stuff that is going on because it's an overload and you cannot complain. For world building, I usually jot down important points in a google doc as this and other stuffs like places, characters, etc. in an excel sheet as this. You may say that I'm a fantasy nut. 
I missed filling this monstrous column because there were not so many as the previous one. So that's my review of Time of Contempt. Let me know your take on this book if you have read it. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.